Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. And to those of you that are cross watching, and welcome to your tarot love messages. So, today we're going to take a look at and see uh, what the cards predict for you over the next 72 hours. Okay, so we'll go ahead and see what's coming up for you um, and what you might need to know. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, you've got a lot of earthly energy here. So you have both the Queen and the King of Pentacles here that's appearing in your reading. And this generates a really good energy here. Together they create this warmth, um, this confidence here. You know, the Queen of Pentacles here, she's um, a nurturer. The King of Pentacles, he's a faithful provider here. So they just generate this self-worth from what they've both have accumulated here. Okay. Um, I feel like your energy tells me that you're identifying opportunities here. Okay, that... You're identifying opportunities that are going to offer you a lot of growth and a lot of success in the future. Now, this can relate to romantic situations, okay? Maybe you're so much more better at picking out, you know, the right type of energies or the type of energies that are right for you as opposed to those that are just going to waste your time here. Um, they can also extend to financial and professional matters, especially in these areas. Um, but I just feel like... Something about your energy tells me that you're realizing, you're really realizing your self-worth, okay? You're realizing, you know, what type of people and what type of situations you will or you won't tolerate here, um, whom you will or you won't give your time and, and your attention and energy to. It, it's all about realizing your self-worth here, okay? And it's all about being able to identify opportunities for growth and success for you and a lot of you are able to do just that especially over the next 72 hours you're very confident in your decision making and you're very confident with some sort of choice here um, i'm also seeing that you're sort of drawing upon your self-discipline here especially when managing a specific situation um, or if any of you are doing like investments um, or anything to do with your wealth here I feel like you're investing in something that very wisely and that I see is going to be long term for you as well. Um, money is flowing through to you, through. I don't know if some of you are getting paid here, if it's payday. Um, I also feel like there's definitely a lot of, there's definitely a very ease of money flowing in here. Um, I feel like some of you also... Uh, both queen and king here indicate that you have a vision you're going to be turning into something very tangible and very profitable and lucrative down the line here okay and look at you you're moving you are over the next 72 hours you're closer to success than you've ever been so i don't know how you know what this means exactly for you but you're that much closer to achieving that goal or signing that contract or getting whatever it is that you need to uh, get done here okay also you don't need to prove yourself to anyone is the other message that I get because you know your self-worth if you have to go around you know trying to convince others of it then um, that's not very it's not very good here I'm also seeing that you might be trying new ways of doing things here 
you're not necessarily taking risks, but you just want to try new ways of doing something here. Um, the Two of Pentacles here, I feel like you're going to be extremely busy. I feel like you're going to be really preoccupied with a lot of things. Um, you know, you might be pulling in extra hours at work and then all of a sudden, you know, friends want you to go out with them, go out for drinks. I just feel like you're you're juggling a lot, but I feel like you're it's manageable. OK, even though these I feel like this week itself is going to be very busy here. I also feel like you're very focused. So you might want to, you, you know, utilize that energy, ride that wave and, you know, continue that productivity because I feel like there's people are relying on you okay they know your work ethic they know you're going to get the job done this is why I feel like you have this um, you know this influx of work coming your way so I feel like you're being very busy you're being very pr productive look some of you in all honesty maybe you want to stay busy and productive because you want to keep your mind sharp and focused and you don't want to get distracted there could be someone from the past or you know someone who has um whom you've been thinking about lately and you just find a little bit distracted by this energy. So instead of just sitting there, you know, and thinking about them, I feel like you're really throwing yourself into work. And maybe you're the one who's putting your hand up and saying, hey, you want to pull in longer hours or you want to take up extra work. I'm not sure if you're being financially compensated for it for some of you, but I feel like even though there might not be financial benefit to it, hey, it's keeping your mind sharp, focused and off this particular energy. Uh, the other thing is some of you are going to come up with an idea, okay? I think maybe the idea has already sort of been simmering in your subconscious, but some of you are coming up with an idea to do something very, di like something different. So maybe you've always had this hobby and suddenly you're going to turn it into this money-making idea. You could potentially be um, taking up a second job, like working from home, but doing something that you like. Or even if it's not working from home, I, I feel like this is, I see a second income coming your way. Now, that doesn't mean that's going to happen over the next 72 hours, but you potentially could be planting the seeds over the next 72 hours. So if you've been thinking about something for a long time, put faith in it. I'm not saying go ahead and take risks, okay, because um, not all risks pay off. Okay, but then again, no risk, no reward. But it depends upon your finance, your you know your personal and financial situation. But if you've been thinking about doing something, but you go, you, you keep going on, like it just it kept. You've been thinking about it, and then you stopped, and then you think about it some more. Whatever it is, I feel like it's a good idea. All you have to do is sort of, uh, you know, go with it, plant the seeds, nurture those seeds, because I do see profit, and I see some sort of. I see financial independence and wealth in your cards here. Be careful because there is someone around you who I feel like is a little bit manipulative, a little bit conniving, or is trying to get away with something he or she shouldn't be doing. Now, you may already know this person. They may exist. It could be in the workplace environment. It could be a connecting energy. You know, they, they may be sneaky. They may be manipulative. And you might already know their true colors and you're like, I know who this is. If so, then just... Be, be aware of it because I feel like there's something here that they've come up with and it kind of it might not directly relate to you but I think it might impact you so they're just being sneaky look they might be gossiping about you in the workplace okay they might be mentioning your name um, but in a, not at a very good light it's to paint themselves to look better um, it, it could also be someone here is telling you a lie they're not being very honest with you and they're hoping to get away with it Okay, now deep down inside, they know they're doing the wrong thing because their moral, no matter how little, their morals here confirm that, right? Um, or their conscience confirms that. So they know to an extent, they know that what they're doing is wrong, but yet they're still hoping to get away with it. They feel like if they don't caught in the act, they're not doing anything wrong, which is wrong, but you know, here they are. It's only, they can only get so fast, so maybe, okay, within the next 72 hours, the truth of this deceit and deceptive energy is going to be exposed and is going to be revealed to you. Maybe you're going to catch someone in the act, you're going to catch someone red-handed, you're going to overhear someone bad-mouthing you, and you might expose them, okay? And let me tell you, if you do, I see this person being very humiliated and very embarrassed because they know what they were doing was wrong, but they were just hoping to get away with it, okay? And they feel like if no one witnessed it, then it didn't matter all that much. I feel like there's something here that's lining up for you in a very big and powerful way. Now, some of you, you are destined for fame and success. So, 
some of you you're harboring these dreams or these goals and you have these ambitions but you need to put it action you need to put in action because you know a dream is just going to stay a dream if you don't take any action a goal is just going to stay a goal if you don't supplement that with action so some of you you're destined for success you're destined for fame even or you're destined to be to live your dream and to become the person you've always wanted to become but you need to you need to believe in yourself more you need to believe you need to have faith more okay have, have more faith in yourself in the universe and trust that everything is going to work out the biggest risk is not taking a risk at all here so there's something here that you have to you you you're there's a lot of self doubt in this energy and i feel like you're lacking a little bit of belief here I'm also seeing that someone here is on your mind and as I do this reading you might not be able to identify with that but over the next 72 hours they may contact you and you'll be really taken aback by hearing from this person and then it's going to flood back all these memories and then it's going to really get you thinking your geese are going to turn and it's like all of a sudden you'll find yourself really you know stuck on this person or stuck on this energy but i just feel like it's a past energy someone whom may still have feelings for you or someone who may still want to reunite with you or reignite a passion with you but i feel like you're really going to there's someone from the past who's going to connect with you and i feel like you're going to it's either you won't be able to get them off your mind since they'll reach out and contact you or you won't be able to get off what they say. Like whatever it is that they say to you, you won't be able to get that off your mind. All right, guys, so these are your messages. So thanks as always for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing.